previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. Nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... That's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys. Not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. Got it? Yeah. We've got your back, Jesse. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time. And you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. I kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. Uh, come on, Harper. Going home is fun. You should be excited. <laughs> Clearly, you've never met the others before. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. <gasps> My goodness. Yikes, if you're the nicest old builder, these other ones must be really terrible. Hey, too mean. I'm trying to help here, all right? Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? I'm sure we can figure something out. Make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Sort of late in the day to bring this up, don't you think, Lucas? Hey, I'm just trying to be cautious, okay? I want all of us to get home in one piece. And we're going to, okay? We just need to get that atlas. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A door? Like a regular door. Time to step through and find out. Ah, very what? bright. I can't see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die. What? Oh. Ah! Oh, come on, Nell. I'm ah. trying. Ah. Dig, dig. Faster. Go, go. I can like. Oh, oh, we can't do this. Yeah. Well, what do we have here? Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just 
What in the world did Harper dump us into? Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there seem like they're aiming for us. Hang on. I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like this! Something? TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, bro. You are an incredibly horrible individual. You just killed our companion. Whoa. Now, and now you're I attempting think... to compliment Jesse's survival tactics? You killed one of my best friends. I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well, my friends are dead. You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez. How petty are you? Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, you can't be serious! <laughs> as serious as that beard of yours. Are you people crazy? People are dying out here, and you're still talking about games? Oh, wow. You don't know, do you? Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Where are you taking them? To the mines. Mm -hmm. They're going to mine for quartz until they get their next shot. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. Stairs. Lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. So can we get someone to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. 
Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. Harper is supposed to be helping. These poor things have been lost in the portal network and need a way to their home world. Meaning, you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Ask Harper. She's the one helping. Um, right. Yes. Believe me, Hadrian, when you see what Jesse has, let's just say it will pique your interest. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. They don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. Haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> oh, yikes. Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. What about huh? this? I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if... You don't know how to use it. <laughs> Harper. Huh? Oh, don't you get started, Mevia. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Uh, without the Atlas? But we need that to get home. So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. That's your idea of an offer. Seriously. That's terrible. Terrible? I'll tell you what's terrible. Hadrian. Well, I do admit the kid is not afraid of playing a little hardball. Even I think that's admirable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. I still don't trust you. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, addendum. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh. He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. So you lied to me. To all of us. Hey, hey, I didn't lie. Per se. I just didn't tell the whole truth. Tricky. Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. 
What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. They're all in the games. Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Seems like you don't approve. I don't. Believe me, these people would rather be here in the village than working in the mines. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Hold on a moment. We still haven't found Petra or Lucas. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well then, we're just gonna have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll see if any of these other competitors have any promising leads. Um, hello. Don't you hello, face meat. Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face me, watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Please? Pretty please? Let them go? Mm. Face me knows not to let prisoners out. Oh, but giant eyes. Oh. Well, there is something you can do. Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat will think about getting your friends out. Wow. Everyone seems to love this Tim guy. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> Forget I asked. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Shovel planet. Nice. Ivor, everything going okay? Yes. I was just thinking to myself that if this place were a touch less mandatory, it could almost be fun. I admit, I did have some fun in that spleef tournament. I just don't want to be forced into fun and games. Of course you'd like the place that's all about people trying to kill each other forever. I'm just saying, there are some interesting ideas at play. We need to keep looking for Petra and Lucas. <clears throat> right. He 
enough of this talking about feelings nonsense. Hey! Get out of here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. It's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. Yeesh. Why is everyone so cranky around here? Could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though. Have you happened to see my friends? You know, the ones that got eliminated in Spleef? No, but if I do, I will make them wish for elimination again. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow? Or will have? Guess I should ask around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow, rude. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. So if you don't mind... Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fish it out some respawn's inventory after he... <sighs> Got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess, you want this back? Cause I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here, and I like to read slow to absorb it better. Hey, don't get too steamed. Maybe we can make a deal. And slab the immovable! Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. Wow, hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most but not even a third of what Tim was. So, you ever meet Tim? Me? Meet Tim? Oh, I wish. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. <clears throat> hmm. Some sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Phew. Smells like it too. Um, hey? You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Unless I win, which I will. You've got guts. I respect that. Just can't wait to see those guts on the arena floor. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, 
Good luck with getting home. Wooden planks. Solid. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I'm now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Speaking of my friends, have you seen them lately? Nope, sorry. They're like probably in the mines. And that's on me. Such bad karma. Bad karma. I will never do that to one of your friends again because man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim, like one, like you could. People are like already talking about it. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. I'm not here to be a Tim. I just want to get home. But that's like exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean, seriously, I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. I need to get my friends out of the mines. Okay, let me guess. Face meat skipped lunch again. I've got a secret stash of wheat? Let's see if we can feed the beast. <laughs> Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Wait, I saw a few wood planks by the dojo. Right on. Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? should be enough for a table. Aha! Uh -huh. That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom. Bread. Now I should be able to get my friends back. Some bread for ya. Bread, huh? Hm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. It took me a long time to make that bread, so you better hold up your end of the deal. Jeez, face meat didn't know you were so demanding. Wait here. Jesse. Hello. Hey, Ivor. There's been something I've been wanting to say. It's about how you saved me back there in that game. I... 
I really appreciate it, Jesse. I... Ugh! I couldn't have done it without you is what I'm trying to say. Really not a fan of admitting that. Ivor, I thought you were going to die. I worried about that too. Luckily, none of us did. I'm glad you're in this with me, Ivor. Me too, friend. Here! No! Oh, response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you? You too, Lucas. Jesse! I really hope you've got our stuff because I'm not liking being armorless here. So, I guess that's a no on my journal, too. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. <sighs> Give it to me straight. What did Harper get us into here? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Now that you guys are out, we need to be careful. If Ivor and I don't win the next round, we're going to all be sent back through that nether portal. No, no way. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... Uh, stare at you while you mine. Lucas, I'm sorry. We can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Tim seems fantastic. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. Oh, great. What do you two want? Hey, now. Otto just wanted to meet you. Don't be mad. Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. Whatever, as long as you don't cheat. Cheat? Oh, no, 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 no. That would never do. Not as long as I'm around. In fact, I'm going to make it my personal mission to make sure Hadrian plays by the book. You'll see. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I just hope this next event isn't too... deadly. Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course about our plucky newcomers. Shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. Certainly fond of their own voices, those three. I can't wait to hear what today's event is. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? Yes, it certainly is curious. He must have been quite the competitor. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line? Huh. Oh, great, a run for my life. Just what I was hoping for. Bad knees, Beardo. Boom! Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their... 
explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. Winning. Ooh, in the zone, huh? That's excellent. That's just excellent. Hope you manage to hang on to that optimism when the heat's on out there. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? I've always liked to think so. Thing about me and my team, Hadrian, no matter the challenge, we always find a way. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes, perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh... Well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Aw, Em. Glad to see my charms finally wore you down. Well, I was thinking about how you handled Spleef, and then you made that deal with the old builders, and... I thought... An enemy of my enemy is my friend. Whoa. That means Em wants to be, like, friends with you, Jesse. <laughs> what? Em wanting to work together. Hmm. I'm not surprised. We are very charming. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. I'm gonna stick with my team, and you should stick with yours. Fine, I'll do that. Competitors, to the starting line. See you at Gladiator Junction. Good, we don't need them, Jesse. Team Jess 4 has this one down. Or is the team icy? I don't know about this, Jesse. Cardio isn't really my thing. If I were Hadrian, I'd be up to some suspicious activity. This race is going to be more than a race. Don't worry. We're in this together. You and me. That's good to hear, Jesse. We can do this! It is a total bummer that we are not going to be able to, you know, work together. Sorry you're going to lose now. I still think you're awesome, though. Competitors, on your mark! Get set! Go! ourselves into and you're just getting started huh? out of the way chumps Not quite. <laughs> 
Okay, sounds like this is Gladiator Junction. But where are the gladiators? Oh, my body! Whoa, that answers that question. Kissy, ah! <laughs> observe! Got you. Soon we will have a winner, and I think I know who it will be. <laughs> I'm surprised that Jesse has not respawned yet. Me too, Mevia. Me too. What? And in an unexpected twist, and something that definitely was not planned. Jesse wins! Jesse wins! Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You tried to kill me! I... I had to. You did whatever it took to win that race, Jesse. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? <gasps> no, no! Please! probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being stuck here as long as I have. Then you can talk. I'm out of here. That respawning was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Ah! Ivor, what are you wearing? <gasps> it's what I've been wearing under my adventuring clothes. It breathes wonderfully. 
Uh-huh. Well, look who it is. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on, I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. Guess that means we don't always get what we want. Come on. No. Just Jesse. <laughs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Just try and be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec. I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey. What's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I, I'm just a minor. Of course, Sebastian. I'm always happy to help out. Then please keep helping us. It's so much nicer around here when they aren't mad. We sometimes get cake. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! Now we're going to be late and I'm going to get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Yeah, sorry about that. I just really wanted to hear what that guy had to say. Pfft, whatever. Wow. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> sounds to me like you're just easily impressed. Oh yeah? Well, sounds to me like you don't have proper appreciation for quality architecture, doofus. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said, don't look at everything. Psst. Hey, Bat! Hey, Batsy! Whoops! Wow, an all-quartz wall. Impressive. Tim Guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. It's quite the little journey. A humble adventurer. Lost in the portal network. Now, just one more victory away from owning the Atlas. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal. More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all... He's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I 
love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. I don't really do quiet exits. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I could ask the same of you. I know a lot more than you might think, Spardo. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I don't believe you. Of course Tim won. Everyone knows Tim won, and you sent him home. You really believe in Tim, huh? Well, you, you think he's real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait. My treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> uh, Axel? Olivia? Hey, Jesse. Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm going to get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am, but different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is just... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I save that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Um, hi. Reuben. Oh, sup? Nothing too much. How about yourself? Oh, same. This is so awkward. So you use the Atlas to kidnap all my best friends. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? I don't believe it. You're just a dirty cheater. You know that I'm going to win, so you're just trying to stack the deck however you can. You wound me, Jesse. Your barbed words. Ouch. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh, yeah, no, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slab! Be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, Squishy. Jesse! 
Nancy, you're okay. What happened up there? Have you seen what Ivor is wearing? I said, <laughs> shut up. Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in Obsidian prisons? But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. I'd have never let you do this. Petra, come on. I'm sure Jesse feels bad enough as it is. I did it to save you guys. That's what this has all been about. But you'll be trapped. Probably forever. And he'll have the Redstone Heart. Yeah. But at least I know you guys will be free. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. It seems like he might not like Hadrian that much. That true? Good eye. Hadrian thinks Otto's a boring stick in the mud. Otto thinks Hadrian's a megalomaniac. Not a lot of love lost there. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. This won't be the first impossible situation I've talked my way out of. I can make a pretty good speech when I want to. Huh. Hope you're right. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own game. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh yeah, because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. That's right. Tim did beat the games. And so can we. <laughs> yeah, sure. Except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. So what? You're just gonna quit because it's hard? No. I'm just saying that we don't exactly stand a chance against those stupid gladiators. The stories didn't exactly say what Tim did to beat them. Yeah. I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are like super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like max level scariness, okay? Boo! I'm not sure how Tim pulled off defeating the gladiators. Their fists are huge, their weapons are super scary. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But you know what I am sure of? If we combine all our fists and stuff, we're going to be even tougher than the gladiators, even tougher than Tim. Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team, you need to believe in yourselves and believe that you can be like Tim. If you do that, nothing can stop you. Yeah!
look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. We're doomed. I don't know how we're gonna pull this off. What? Of course we're gonna pull this off. You're Jesse. Yeah, we can still do this. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game! That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game! Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's Walls! The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. Can I be honest with you? I am a little scared. I'm worried that... <laughs> scared. <laughs> Guess that's what I get for being honest. Maybe. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. <gasps> Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Whatever. I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! <laughs> so all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Adrian, I can't help but notice that our newcomer Jesse's section has a disproportionate amount of dirt and gravel. Oh, funny how the universe works. I'm guessing like that's the eponymous wall. For a deal. Hilarious. Man, I hope this is one of those dirt blocks with something underneath it. Nope, just dirt. Come on. Gravel. Gravel? That's worse than dirt. Yep, just dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> uh, would you go away already? Geez, sorry. I, I just thought you wouldn't want to be alone. Oh. No. When you die! Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mevia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh, this should be interesting. Competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Hang on now, we Ow! got movement. Really? Looks 
like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Okay. Do whatever it is you think you have to do. Whatever you say. Jessie isn't even trying to defend herself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Figured I'd try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down the unarmed new um, and you are all right in my book. Well, the feeling's mutual. Suit. But don't let it go to your head, or I'll knock it off its shoulders. Noted. This isn't how it was supposed to go. What's going on? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Yeah, see, usually all the little teams kill each other. Yeah, and, and then we kill whoever's left. Yeah, this way is, is much weirder. Less killing. We're not killing each other because we're done fighting, Slab. It's over. Uh-huh. So why do you still have your weapons out? Done fighting each other. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that Jesse has decided that deals don't need to be kept. And is trying to convince the gladiators to follow suit. You are not going to bully us! Wait, wait, wait. Hadrian's the bully, not us. Woo! That's a relief. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You're all such strong, amazing fighters. You could fight the old builders! Defeat them! No way! I am very strong, but not strong enough for that. <laughs> yep, that is some straight crazy talk. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab. I'm so proud. Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm. Even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this. Together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. This wasn't the deal, Jesse. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are <laughs> Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Mevia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. We had a deal. And you broke it, bucko. We're in agreement. You promised me. And to think we let you compete. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Manipulating all these people like this. How dare you? This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. Come on, Mevia. Just admit you lost. You'll feel better. Lost? We'll never lose. We, we still have the Atlas. Ha! Well, that's the thing. Jessie won these games fair and square. She's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have.
Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Oh, what are you doing? Now it's been fun, really, but I think it's about time we end this. Surrender the Redstone Heart now, now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. You heard Otto. The Atlas is mine. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Otto about that later, but trust me, the Atlas will never be yours. Ah! Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. Are you with us or not, M? Tisk tisk. Seems like classic Emily. She's always been a touchy one. You're gonna need all the help you could get, Jesse. Not to take what is mine. Uh, I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Uh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. Admit, kid, you've shown you got skills, but you're still no match for me. We'll see about that! I got this, Hadrian! Ah! Had enough, Hadrian! Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you? Forgive me? <laughs> oh. This game is no! over! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! <laughs> I... I lost? It's over. Oh, I... I don't think so. It's us. Yeah. I am so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, Overall. Over here. Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, a nice ah, choice. Not bad. Sweet. Payback ah, time. Eat! Now, what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian, Mevia, this game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor. Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? I'm gonna make you beg me for a deal. Seems unlikely. We don't beg sport. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Ha! <laughs> Yeah. 
Come on! What kind of rookie move is that? Ta-ta oh. for now, bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! Us. I believe Time to in shut you! you up. You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Jesse, let's talk about this. Hmm, is that begging? Does that sound like begging to you, Petra? It sure does, Jesse. Told ya. Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Splee! Got it! Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Correction, Otto. We all showed you the error of your ways. Uh, yes, I suppose you're right. You all showed us. And you all deserve to go home. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? And that's when I yanked Thomas Redstone heart right out. Hurrah! And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. And you promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. But what if I'm bored? I'm sure that you're just getting cold feet now that you actually can go home again. You said it's all you wanted in life, remember? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll be able to see my own friends again. Maybe we can have our own, you know, Order of the Stone. Yeah, and you can have your own adventures. Thanks, Jesse. I needed that. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Let's go find the others. You're amazing. 
So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Um, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Nice! There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? I know. I can't believe it either. After all that traveling we were doing, I was starting to wonder if we'd ever get home. Ah, <sighs> it is good to be back. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! That's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Huh? I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. The White Pumpkin. Oh, man. That's even creepier looking than I imagined. The Crown of the Eversource, the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah. None of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the Portal Atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Ah, uh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home.
Well, in a very unfortunate and unexpected turn of events, it appears we are in the land of zombies that are indeed the size of chickens. Zombies that are the size of chickens. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like they're dying to meet us. <laughs> Get it? Because they're undead and they're dead. Oh, never mind. Not your best work, Mavia. 